Look at these people. They look like ordinary humans, right? Well, what if I told you that they're computer-generated images, graphics, models that are animated by an algorithm? Welcome to the future. They weren't kidding when they said Neon is an artificial human. These Neon promo videos were hidden in the source code of the official Neon website. Huge shout out to MTXJ aka Go431 who shared the original Reddit post by Sineska. You guys are legends. So first look at this guy. He's the same person in one of the early Neon teasers. I'm honestly finding it difficult to believe he's a computer generated character. Look at the details in his hair, skin and clothes. Okay, maybe the videos are generated but these pictures and the people upon on whom the characters are based, or at least some of them are real. Cause listen to the Star News reporter. Membership to Chelsea so All right, so Chelsea Militano. Now let's track her down. Um, yep, that's the same lady, and this is also her real voice. But I don't think these videos are just people being filmed by cameras. That wouldn't make any sense. Cause what would this have to do with artificial humans, right? What makes more sense is they took actors like Chelsea, filmed them and scanned their faces and expressions and movements, recorded their voices and fed them into Neon. And then Neon was able to generate these videos. And if it's really that smart, then it should be able to generate more videos like these in real time, based on new info fed into the algorithm that can possibly be obtained based on your interaction with it if we're talking future personal assistance. To further support my opinion, let's go back and reflect on some of the teasers and you'll see how everything starts to make sense now. Pranav Mystery, the CEO of Star Labs and inventor of Neon. He retweeted Shekhar Kapoor, a film director who said, finally artificial intelligence that will make you wonder which one of you is real, which means they both believe the end result looks very realistic and convincing. Pranav quotes Descartes, I think therefore I am, which hints that Neon could be smart enough to to act like a human. E for emotions, and if computer generated characters can exhibit this much emotion now, then well freaking done. And then they said Core R3, which is reality, real time, and responsive. Core R3 could be the software engine that will generate the graphics and artificial intelligence for Neon. And guess what, it was recorded two days ago at the USPTO, which is the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So Core R3 is downloadable software for creating, viewing, editing, and developing computer generated realistic looking versions characters slash model humans of human beings for use in movies, television, etc. You see where this is going? Also, we have the description of the trademark Neon, and it includes keywords like augmented reality video production, custom computer generated images or graphics, animations, simulations, and models. Now to put things into perspective, I want to show you the difference between graphics based on motion capture and graphics based on artificial intelligence. This is Siren. She's an artificial human rendered by Unreal Engine 4, but her emotions are based on an actress that's controlling her in real time, which is why she looks full of life. Here is another example of motion capture based graphics. The expressions are realistic. Now here's a motion captured scene in a video game. The problem is they can't do this for all scenes in the game because they can't film actors for hundreds of pages of dialogue. So instead they just record the voiceover and use AI to generate the emotions. Now here's the next scene but this time the emotions are AI based. Notice how it doesn't feel so alive anymore. How so certain emotions look artificial and how it sometimes feels dead. Neon is supposed to be about how AI draws human emotions. During the development it will be fed with human emotions until it becomes smart enough to display the correct emotions to create realistic renders without the need of motion capture. There are similar projects to Neon that generate artificial humans with varying levels of realism and some have very expressive faces with good capacity for human emotions. And if the Core R3 is able to beat all of them and generate photorealistic people with convincing emotions in real time and be responsive as they call it with this much accuracy in character details, facial expressions, body movements and possibly voice tones, then Neon is truly the next big thing that will change everything. It can literally be anything and create anyone. It can be your news reporter, your doctor, your human development coach, your fitness trainer, your flight attendant, your personal assistant, your friend or girlfriend. The possibilities are limitless and they'll be used in movies, televisions, news reporting and video games. If computers can generate images 
images with such realism, then they'll take the digital world to the next level, and as time passes, they'll become even more human and perfect, and the ways you can interact with them will increase. You may be able to put on your AR glasses and see them right in front of you. I'm hyped about the future, and I'm curious to see how the real product compares to these promo videos, because they might have done some polishing in order to come out with this perfect of a result in graphics that are full of emotions and realism that really deserve to be called artificial humans. We will learn more in CES, only 3 days left and I'll keep you updated so consider subscribing with notifications on, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and tell me your thoughts in the comments. I will also leave you the links to the Neon promo videos in the description so you can watch them for yourself and tell me if you find something interesting. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.